I'm Steve with Simply Soluble and Elevate. Today I want to talk about how do you get your right dosage for the Simply Soluble CBD? Well, it's really, really hard to know what you're going to use or not use, so you always want to start out lower and work up. Don't have to worry too much because you're not going to overdose, but don't go buy a whole bunch and start piling down your throat. Work it up. Find out what works for you. So what we put on these is one dose is basically 10 milligrams of CBD. 10 milligrams of CBD in this is basically uh, 50 milligrams of weight. So there is 20% of that is actual CBD in this whole mixture. And the rest of it is the tapioca starch, that uh, Arabic gum, and obviously the rest of your cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids. So uh, that's why uh, we measure it only as 20% and we just talk about the CBD because it is broad spectrum. It contains all of the, the terpenes, flavonoids, and whatnot in the cannabis plant, except for the THC that we take out of it. So what is a dose? Uh, again, that's what you're going to figure out for you. You can use uh, all kinds of different measuring things. What we've come across is a little smidgen uh, spoon. But really, uh, the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and take this out, dump it out, and break it down into 10 things. And that's going to give you your 10 doses. Once you physically know and then can visually see what uh, this broken down is into 10 equal portions, then you also know what a smidgen is. The smidgen is 1 32nd of a teaspoon, so it's not much. This is a smidgen right here. And, uh, oh, I just spilt it. <laughs> Anyways, it's uh, how to get a smidgen. It's you fill it up, and then you're just gonna scrape it. So that that's not full, so you're gonna, there's a little whatever, so you're gonna make sure you're full. And then that's a smidgen. Anyways, we'll set that back down. Actually, we'll just dump it right in here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and Blow this out. And then how do we measure a smidgen for reals right by here? And we've done this, I've weighed it out. It actually weighs proper. So it's uh, really, really good. Uh, so one thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna break this out and uh, get it all out. So you're gonna open up this little bottom right here, get that to like pop open a little bit, get your little bag to really open up, get it out. And uh, we've chosen this as the preferred method to package it just because it keeps it airtight, keeps it um, watertight for shipping or anything or storage, as well as it's very affordable to ship. Um, very environmental that way. So I feel like, let's see if I, nope, I didn't get it all out. All right. So maybe one day we'll make these into little pills or whatnot. But I don't really like that. You know, 100 milligrams like this, you know you can put it in uh, any type of baking food or something that you know you're going to get about 10 pieces out. Or if you want to double the dose, you're going to get five pieces out or so forth like that. So I'm going to look in there and, uh, yep, I got it all out. So what we're going to do is you're just going to kind of scrape this all up into a pile. And then you're going to say, okay, what's about half? That's about half. So I got two halves right there. So we're gonna break those up into halves again. So we got that, then we're gonna break. So we got eight. Oh, I don't know if I should have did that. Should I have done that? Yeah, whatever, right? Then we're gonna break that down. Break that down. Uh, and it all sticks, so it all got mixed, right? But now I can go ahead and take that. And I'm not looking for exact, exact right here. I'm looking for about what is a smidgen? And honestly, just what kind of stuck to that. I'm going to say that came out into eight little parts or ten little parts. So that is a smidgen. That's not much. And again, when we get our little spoon right here, you can see. See about how that is? It's a little higher up than those. Pack it down, it's about the same. So that's a smidgen. And a smidgen is actually a real thing, 1 32nd of a, a teaspoon. And when you're weighing this out, it actually comes out to uh, 
50 milligrams, which is equal to 20%, which is equal to 10 milligrams of CBD because it's 20%. So uh, thanks a lot for watching how to measure a smidgen of your simply soluble, water soluble CBD. Peace out, y'all. Elevate, mind, body, spirit.